Are you PCSing or moving to Fort Bragg, North Carolina? Well, here's some things you should know. What's up everybody, James Walker here, local real estate agent here in Fayetteville, North Carolina with ERA Strother Real Estate Fisher Group. And today I'm gonna to tell you some things you should know if you're about to PCS to Fort Bragg, North Carolina. The first thing I wanna talk about with uh, Fort Bragg, North Carolina is we're right next to Fayetteville, North Carolina, which is probably the biggest city right next to Fort Bragg and there's Hope Mills and there's Spring Lake. But Fayetteville is uh, about a medium-sized city. We've got a population of just over 200,000 people um, and the traffic here is not very bad um, I mean it, it does get backed up a little bit but we've um, got all America freeway there's multiple um, entrances and exits to Fort Bragg gate and they're actually as we speak at the time of this video we're, they're actually building uh, highway 295 and it's some of it is complete it'll probably complete in the next two or three years give or take what may happen but um, 295 is going to come is is uh, connects Hope Mill, Spring Lake, um, and Fayetteville with uh, either access to Fort Bragg and to other parts of the city. Fort Bragg is a very large base. It's one of the largest military bases, if I'm correct, on the East Coast. It's about 50,000 people, population-wise, and it's got two commissaries and two exchanges. There is one commissary exchange on the north side, which is near the Spring Lake exit, entry exit, and there's one on the south side, which is near the Raleigh Road, close to Fayetteville, Fayetteville exit. And a lot of activities to do on Fort Bragg. Um, they've got hiking trails, uh, running trails. They've got several gyms on Fort Bragg um, and places to shop. They're actually building uh, a shopping center as we speak right now, it's April of 2020, the time of this video, it's going to be called Freedom Crossing at Fort Bragg, and it's going to have, it's about 50,000 square feet, and it's going to have restaurants, shops, and a movie theater, and it's actually going to be built um, near the north side commissary exchange, which is near the Spring Lake exit. They do have on-base housing at uh, Fort Bragg. Um, I think, looking at the Census Bureau, I think they said Approximately 29,000 people live on base, so there is on base housing. And like I said, there's things to do on Fort Bragg. Uh, so if you do live on Fort Bragg, there are, everything is very close by, so you really don't have to leave the base. Everything is, is right there for you if, you if you need it. Now, if you choose to live off base, um, just recognize uh, Fort Bragg is very large. Like I said, it's about 251 square miles. So we um, border up, um, Fort Bragg borders up with Harnett County, Hope County, uh, Cumberland County, and Moore County. And the cities that bump up to it, the borders of it, are Fayetteville, Spring Lake, and the Southern Pines area. So you do that option, of course, to live off base if you so choose. The average price house in uh, Fayetteville, Harnett County area, is between $150,000 and $170,000. If you're looking to purchase a house in Southern Pines, Moore County area, the average price house out there is between $316,000 to $329,000. Um, very nice area. It's a golf course here. It's got golf courses out there. Very small little town. Uh, bumps up with Whispering Pines, Aberdeen, and Pinehurst. Look at the screen in front of you. Um, showing you the BAH for Fort Bragg. Um, as you see here, E5 would bring home $1,233. Um, E9 would bring down home $1,551. Of course, if you live off base, you have the um, opportunity to use your VA loan. Um, and if you're not familiar with a VA loan, if you're a first-time buyer, if it's if you purchased before and you forgot some of the benefits of it, one of the benefits of it is there's no down payment involved. That means when you purchase a house, um, you don't have to put any money down uh, for the purchase of the house. There's no entitlement of a VA loan. The second um, thing is, is you will have to pay a VA funding fee, um, which it depends on the price of the house. It, 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 it's There's no way to determine how much that would be. But if you are a disabled veteran and you have 10% disability or more, they will waive that VA funding fee. So, of course, one of the hardest things I understand about moving is the move itself. 
Um, sometimes you're halfway across the world. Uh, it could be another country. So looking for a house to buy is, is very hard to do. Um, one of the options you can do is, of course, fly out here to Fort Bragg. I'd recommend 45 to 60 days um, before you PCS here. Find a house, put an offer in, purchase it, fly back to where you're at. And then so when you move here, it's just a smooth transition. You move right into your new house. There's no issues. Second way, of course, is to move here, PCS here, find temporary housing, um, start looking at houses, put an offer in, and then have to move again. Um, I don't know if the military would pay for another move or not that I'm not sure about. Um, but I know there's pros and cons to both. Um, another thing I can do, um, I love helping out my service members. If you see a house that you like, let me know. I can go out there, I can take a video of it, send it to you, do a little virtual tour, send it to you, or we can um, do a FaceTime if you have an iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, that's fine. I'm sure there's an app out there, there's an app for everything where I can um, videotape it live and speak to you. So if there's any issues or anything you see, um, you know, hey, back up to the kitchen, I wanna take a look at the backsplash, stove, whatever, backyard, rooms, things like that. See this house you like, you can make an offer on it, we can send everything to you so you can sign electronically. Um, we can do electronic signatures. Um, they will file everything um, through the courthouse electronically. So by the time you do move here, you just move straight into your house. That's an option also. If you enjoyed that video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I do videos about living in North Carolina, at least uh, one video a week. No particular day, but I do do one video a week. So uh, if that's something that interests you, please um, subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed that video, please check out this video right here. It's about schools in Cumberland County. So if you are PCS into the area, that's something you'd be interested in if you're going to move to Cumberland County. And if you are moving to the area, please call me, text me, send me smoke signals. Anyway, you want to get a hold of me? I've got your back. We think about moving to the area.